artists and congratulations for being selected to be part of this utility box art program. We assigned one of two different kinds of boxes that are available to be painted on. Today we're going to go over guidelines on what to do and not do when painting these boxes. So I'm going to introduce you to Cesar Rodriguez, an engineer with the city, who will go over all those guidelines with you. Hello. My name is Cesar Rodriguez. I'm a civil engineer with the city of Santa Ana, and I'll be going over some of the guidelines on painting these utility cabinets. I oversee all the maintenance and operations of these utility cabinets. First thing we want to go over is we want to be able to secure the area around the cabinet to make sure that we have accessibility around your workspace. So I've laid out a couple cones here. Um, if, you, if you have something like this, you can maybe put some, some tape around it just to secure and allow accessibility around your workspace. Now we'll, we'll go over some of the components or some of the parts that we we don't want you to paint. I mean, this is, most of it is, is available for you to paint, but there's a couple components here that we don't want to be painted. The first thing is this, this handle here. Because it's regularly opened and closed, we wanna make sure that none of this area, the handle is, is to be painted. Same thing with this, this keyhole here. This is uh, regularly open and closed, so make sure not to paint this, this area here. As we go around here, there's also another area, another door that opens with a, with a keyhole. Make sure to not paint in there or paint around this area. We come around, same thing here on this side. We have another handle. We don't want to paint it because it's going to be opened and closed. Same thing here. As you can see, this, uh, this this cabinet already has a lot of layers of paint. It has stickers on it. You're welcome to scrape this off. As, as part of the, the program, these cabinets will be power washed before you, you paint it. So most of this should, should all be already be removed, but you're welcome to scrape it off, take it off just to clean up the, the, the surface. We come around here now we have so we have the two doors we want to make sure not to paint these hinges these, these doors have to be able to freely open and close so I've we've kind of just gone over this tape this a little bit but there's there's four hinges here that we do not want you to paint so definitely do not paint these this is the, the most important part of this utility cabinet is not to paint this meter so what we've done is just kind of put some tape around it, but definitely do not paint anything on this meter. And also this is the address number here. And if there's a label, some of them will have a label like this. Do not paint on that. Everything else you're welcome to paint. Do not paint the lock. And there's also another window here that should not be painted. So you can paint everything around this, but do not paint that window. Um, as you can see, this thing is this, this cabinet sitting on a concrete um, pad. You're welcome to go ahead and paint that. Uh, I would say avoid painting any of the sidewalk, tape it off, but you can paint this concrete above the sidewalk. If you're, it depends on what material you're using. If you're using a roller, I mean, you can paint, but if you're using spray paint, be careful in this area, there's a vent that you know, moves air in and out of this cabinet. Be careful not to spray up into this. It will damage some of the equipment. From the outside, it just looks like, like any ordinary box, but this actually contains uh, very critical equipment that is used to control the traffic signal. So we don't want any, any of this, uh, the paint coming into this and damaging the electrical equipment. be two of these uh, placards placed on the cabinet so be, be conscious when you're placing your artwork two of these will be placed at, at the bottom of the cabinet probably bottom corner here and maybe on the other side so, so just be conscious of that when you're laying out your artwork this is one of the types of cabinets that we have as you can see there's layers and layers of paint on this cabinet already so these cabinets will be pressure washed before you come out here but there still may be some material that will have to be scraped off after the fact. As you can see here, there's just layers of, of paint on here, stickers. So it will be pressure washed, but you, 
you may have to come back and scrape a lot of this off to prepare the surface before you, you place your artwork on here. Um, so some of the things here on this cabinet that, you know, most of it will be able to be painted, but then there's different elements on here that are regularly opened and closed uh, for maintenance purposes. For example, these hinges here. Even though there's already some paint on here, we we would want we don't want you to paint over this anymore because this has a door that opens and closes. So we, we want to be able to open that. If we come around this way, we've already kind of pre-marked some of these uh, elements that we don't want you to paint. These this will not be taped up for you. You you will have to come in and and tape up the different things that shouldn't be painted. But for example, here, this is the handle. We don't want this painted because this uh, allows for this door to open and close. So do not paint this handle. And then also this, this is where the where we, where we use for the key to open this. So we don't want you painting on this because this has to be opened and closed. And you can see already that if you do paint over here, it will be damaged by this opening and closing. So stay away from this area same thing here there's another keyhole here so uh, we recommend not to paint this uh, and don't paint inside of this this keyhole here uh, another thing we have we have a couple vents on this cabinet so this 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 cabinet how or this utility box houses a lot of critical equipment for the operations of the traffic signal so we have vents in here to keep the equipment cool so if you're using spray a spray can or spray paint be careful not to spray into these vents in here so what you could do is just cover them using some tape and then now you can you can paint around them same thing here uh, these vents here allow for air circulation so you can spray paint but I would say spray paint above so the the spray paint does not get inside the, the utility cabinet as we come around here there's some other things uh, we have this is the electrical meter that gives it gives it power to the, the cabinet. We have a, a window here that allows uh, for this meter to operate. Do not paint this window. Um, same thing here. This this door opens and closes, so be, uh, do not paint this this hinge and this lock. Really important. This is the electrical meter. Do not paint the electrical meter. So we've already pre-marked it just so you can see it but this will not be taped off you will have to tape this off and do not paint the meter sometimes there's an, an address here uh, labeling the the address for this meter if it's there do not paint it just tape over it and paint around it uh, one other thing here this utility box is up here but there's also concrete down there feel free to paint that if you would like so you have you know extra area to paint so that's allowable. Be careful with the concrete. So I would say tape off around and do not paint the sidewalk. But you're allowed to paint anything above the sidewalk, all this concrete for this utility box. Just so you're aware, as you're laying out your artwork, there will be two uh, decals that we will be placed on the cap on the utility box. Likely they will be placed on the on a lower corner, possibly down here or on the other side. So as you're laying out your artwork, just be conscious that these two decals will be placed and they will be placed on the lower corner of the utility box. If you have any questions, please call or email me. My information's down below. And most importantly, I just want to remind you to have fun when you're painting. We want to thank you again for making Santa Ana such a beautiful and lovely city to live in. And it's because of your art. Your art makes us proud.